Good evening, parents and students, and welcome to Desert Shadows Middle School for the beginning of our 2017-2018 school year. My name is Derek Hummer, and I'm your school principal. And I'm Katie O'Boyle, the assistant principal. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy summer schedules to join us tonight. The goal of this e evening is to help ease the anxiety of all students as we prepare for the first day of school, coming Wednesday, August 9th. We know it can be stressful returning to school, especially for our incoming 7th graders who never attended Desert Shadows Middle School before. They often worry about things such as getting lost from class to class or not having a friend in a particular period. The format of this evening tonight should help ease the anxiety associated with the first day of school. During your first two years here at Desert Shadows, you will hear a lot about how we consider ourselves a family. In so many ways, we take care of one another. Tonight is a part of that process, making sure that students and families feel safe and excited as we prepare for the start of school this week. This evening, your kids will have an opportunity to experience a mini version of the first day of school with their parents right by their side. Right now, if you check your schedule, you should be sitting in your first period class. If you're not in first period, please feel free to get up and move to your child's first period classroom. Following some brief information from Mr. Hummert and I in this video, you will hear a 10 minute presentation from your child's first period teacher. Your kids will have an opportunity to learn about the class, meet their teacher, and even look around to see if they have any friends in first period. Following this video and the 10 minute presentation in first period, the bell will ring at 520. You'll have five minutes to pass from your child's first period class to your second period class. Then at 525 when the bell will ring again, you'll spend 10 minutes with your second period teacher. The evening will continue with 10 minute classes and five minute passing periods until you've experienced a full mini version of your first day of school. There are two minor exceptions to the format that you will want to take note of. First, please know that we have not built in a lunch period uh, for tonight's format. That means seventh grade families will move straight from their period four to their period six class, bypassing period five. Similarly, our eighth grade families will move straight from period five to period seven, bypassing six period lunch. Also, please note in your schedule that English is scheduled for two periods a day, which means that you will remain in that English language arts class for two 10 minute sessions before moving on to that next class. Prior to the first day of school, Mr. Hummer and I typically get some really good frequently asked questions from students and parents. We decided to spend the rest of this video giving you some information that might help answer those questions. Please know that there is a chance that student schedules may be modified between now and Wednesday when the first day of school comes around as we continue to enroll a few new students and adjust the schedule so that we have balanced classrooms. Although changes are rare and um, not so frequent, uh, we want to make sure that students have the most current schedule, the latest and greatest, when you start your first day of school on Wednesday. So as a result, all students will pick up a green copy of their schedules before the first day of school, and that will happen between 7.25 and 7.55 in the morning on Wednesday, August 9th. We call the green schedules your admit copy schedule because it's your ticket in the door for each of your classes on the first day of school. Seventh graders will report to the gym to pick up their admit copy and eighth graders will report to the cafeteria to get that copy. Again, students will pick up the schedules between 725 and 755 on the first day of school on Wednesday. Uh, parents, please give an extra few minutes of time, maybe get here a bit early, on that Wednesday for that very important activity. Uh, students who ride the bus will have plenty of time to receive your copy of your new schedules and should report directly to the gym or cafeteria uh, whenever their bus drops off. Mr. Hummer, would you agree that one of the most common questions we get is about the dress code? I would agree with that. Without question, we know that many of our families wonder about what, what clothes are appropriate to wear at Desert Shadows. Although a complete copy of our dress code can be found in our student handbook and will be included in the agenda you receive next Wednesday, we'll cover a couple points that seem to pop up fairly often. Although it's hot, tank tops are not permitted at Desert Shadows. We ask that shoulders are covered at all times and shirts aren't cut too low or too high exposing the chest or midriff. And we expect young ladies to dress like young ladies, so please no short shorts. Girls, please make sure your shorts have a minimum of a two and a half inch inseam. And when temperatures begin to drop, 
Feel free to wear yoga pants, but if you do, make sure that the bottom of your shirt or sweatshirt covers at least down to your thighs. When it comes to dress, we want you to be you, but we also want your dress to be reflective of the fact that we come to school each day ready to learn. And as a result, our dress code conversation will begin and end with the philosophy that students should be dressed in a way that is reflective of our emphasis on learning. Many students new to Desert Shadows Middle School are surprised to learn that we don't have lockers. Without lockers, your backpack becomes your locker. So to keep the weight of your backpack down to a minimum, all students will be given a home copy of textbooks from their core classes during the first few weeks of school. Those books will stay home for the duration of the school year and then be returned in May. As a result, lockers are really unnecessary. Except in PE, that is. Students who are involved in PE and or after school sports will receive a locker in the gym where they can keep their uniforms and other equipment. Uh, gentlemen, here's a quick piece of advice. Uh, just because you have a locker doesn't mean that your clothes have to stay in the locker all the time. I suggest that you take your PE uniforms home frequently to get washed. Uh, the ladies will appreciate that. We, we will all appreciate that. And speaking of appreciation, it's important that you know about our cell phone expectations. At Desert Shadows Middle School, students can access their cell phones before school, during lunch, and after school. However, cell phones should be turned off and put away during all other times of the school day, including passing periods. Parents, you always have access to your kids at Desert Shadows Middle School by calling the main office. Uh, to help your children learn the very important life skill and trait of independence, we strongly encourage you not to connect with your kids by text or cell phone during and throughout the school day. In the end, waiting to connect with them in person at the end of the school day will benefit their long-term growth. Parents, we love that our students are so proud of their work and their friends and their school. We know they're going to want to post it on social media, but please note that due to privacy issues, we do not allow photos or videos to be taken on campus. Part of having the cell phones put away helps students to fight the urge to take photos and videos. Parents, please talk to your child about the power of technology they use. One of the great resources available to Desert Shadows students and families is Infinite Campus, where all attendance and grade information is stored. Similar to elementary school, you can use Infinite Campus to check your current grades at any time. When you arrived tonight, you may have noticed that our exterior gates were all open and you had access to walk into our campus from all directions. The campus will be accessible in similar ways before and after school on a daily basis for school days. However, during school hours and just after that first bell, we will have a single point of entry through the front, front office lobby. This helps us keep the right people in and the wrong people out. Uh, parents, you are absolutely welcome to join your child on campus for lunch or for an appointment. Uh, however, we ask that you always check in the front office when you arrive so that we can check you in. Students, to make your experience at Desert Shadows Middle School as positive and enjoyable as possible, my greatest advice is to please get involved. Participate in one or more of our many clubs, activities, field trips, and after-school sports. Mrs. O'Boyle, I'm glad you said that. I totally agree. We know that students who are involved in and proud of their school have a better experience because they meet new people, are excited to come home each day, and in the end, they learn more. Parents, please encourage your kids to get involved. They won't regret it. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules to join us this evening. We're so excited for the first day of school on Wednesday. Please take a minute to drop by the gym before you leave tonight. Our wonderfully supportive PTO is available in the gym to collect forms and accept donations. In addition, PE uniforms are available for purchase also in the gym. On behalf of our entire staff at Desert Shadows Middle School, welcome and enjoy your evening.